It's time now for our uh, daily a look at the Cannes Film Festival. Let's go to uh, France 24's Eve Jackson. What's happening behind you on the red carpet? Well, Francois, you just missed it. Fans have been screaming out as Leonardo DiCaprio just arrived on the red carpet for the premiere of the Italian mafia movie, The Traitor. He spent some time signing autographs, so there were tears, people crying, shouting his name. It was very exciting here at the Cannes Film Festival because the fans, after all, do come here to get a glimpse of those stars, the biggest stars from all over the world. Now, The Traitor is directed by the Italian director Marco Bellocchio. It's the 74-year-old's 10th film here at the Cannes Film Festival, and it focuses on the early 80s when Sicilian mafia bosses were fighting over the heroin trade. Take a look. Senhor Tomaso Busqueta, nós temos um mandado de prisão, busca e apreensão da sua casa. O nome dele é Roberto Felici. Comecem pelo escritório, depois os quartos. Eu quero achar as drogas. Não tem nenhuma droga aqui. E o dinheiro está onde? Se o senhor colaborar, as coisas podem ser mais simples. Aqui. O passaporte dele. O nome dele é Roberto Felici. O senhor está na casa errada. Pelo amor de Deus, deixa a gente ir. Chega! Cala a boca! All right, and uh, Marco Bellocchi's, uh, Bellocchi's latest film. Uh, as well, uh, there are other celebrities in town, and uh, not just, uh, uh, not just uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. That's right. Many people come here. We don't even have films showing at the Cannes Film Festival, like Eva Longoria or Priyanka Chopra, just to strut their stuff on the red carpet and come and take part in a bit of the glamour. The Dutch supermodel, Dutz and Crows, is here representing a famous French brand. Here she is. Hi, my name is Dutz and Crows, and I'm in Cannes for L'Oreal Paris. Glamorous, iconic. I've been coming for about 12 or 13 years, so I've been around. <laughs> On the stairs for the first time, uh, just realizing how special it was, and looking back and seeing the stairs and all these photographers. I will never forget meeting is Jane Fonda. She's such an interesting and beautiful person. Grace Kelly. Having a voice and um, making sure that there is female empowerment. Oh, I look up to my mom. I'm the woman who I am today because of her. We have to look on the bright side because the world is going mad and um, we have to stay positive. And later, Eve, you'll be hosting uh, Encore from the Cannes Film Festival. I gotta say, I love the fact that documentaries feature so prominently this year. They certainly do. And this evening, I'm going to be talking about Leonardo DiCaprio's new climate change documentary, Ice on Fire. Now, this is the second time he's worked with the American filmmaker, Layla Connors. Uh, the new film asks the question, are we going to get climate change, destroy civilization as we know it, or are we going to use new technologies to do something about it and save the planet? Here's the director talking about her motivation behind this film. Leonardo and his father George DiCaprio were really interested in looking at methane and that is something new that has happened in the last 10 years. So as the Arctic thaws because of climate change due to our burning of fossil fuels, the methane signal in the Arctic is going up and so that's of concern and so that's why we started to do the film. But what's exciting about the film is it's not just about that. At the same time we say there's two stories in this film. It's the accelerating climate disruption and also the, the good story, which is innovators that are coming and meeting the challenge. So these are two accelerating stories at the same time. Either we can stay the course, and drown, burn, and starve ourselves to death, or we can come together, we can innovate. Is it game over or is it in fact game on? Technology can save us. If we do that, we can save the world. So why don't we do it? And you can watch my full interview with Leila Connors at 11.15 Paris time or later on online. And I'm going to say goodbye. And if you listen very carefully, maybe you can hear the incredible Italian music, opera music playing in the background.
And we can hear that opera music uh, but behind you. Eve, by the way, put your thinking cap on. I know we're into the home stretch. Tomorrow I'm going to be asking you, what's your favorite movie of the fortnight? We're ahead of the award ceremony on Saturday. Ooh, I've got lots. All right, we'll talk about <laughs> it. That'll be coming up on Friday, ahead of that. So those Saturday ceremonies from the Cannes Film Festival. Stay with us. There's more to come, including... Our look at EU elections, they've kicked off with the Netherlands and the UK. Catherine Nicholson will be here uh, with our EU elections roadshow. Stay with us.